What's up friends, Chuck here, and welcome back to God of War. Okay, in the last episode, uh, we got our asses kicked by a Valkyrie. Like, really badly. And we want to see if we can get back to the Valkyrie's, like, um, chambers. Like, the, 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 you know, where all the chairs are. Um. Yeah, this is totally Fafnir's joint. Uh, but we can't seem to find the way. It's across this bridge. So it's here. Which we can't get to. So it's got to be from Helheim Tower. Then you go up here, up here, up here. So we're in the complete wrong spot. We are. We're in the complete wrong spot. Okay. Uh, then we got our asses kicked by those, those guys. Which I then figured out that you need to kill them with, um by punching him. Uh, so we know to do that next time. Oops. We could check the beast area and stuff, but... Oh, I hear a, a raven. We also upgraded uh, to this armor, which I'm still not 100% sure about. It gives us a aura of um, fire, increasing strength and restoring a small amount of HP when damage is taken. So effectively it should make us hurt more. And also heal us. But it doesn't appear to be working that well. Um, is this where we need to be? This looks better. Let's go up this way. I, I don't know why we can't travel, fast travel to these places. We've unlocked them. Uh, we've gone to the little, you know, the rock things with the, um, the blue shit. Right? The, 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 the waypoint things. But we can't seem to fast travel to them, and I don't know why. So, yeah, we've lit in a few of the, um... The brazier things, the brazers. Uh, and they were talking about it being to do with Valkyrie. So I just wanted to go back and double check. And if this isn't anything, we'll just go on with the story for now. Okay, so we're definitely in the right spot. Which is good. Unless it's, uh, there's like, you know, eight Valkyries or something we need to kill. Well, how many chairs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's eight. Nothing appears to be done since lighting those braziers. All of these have torches on them and we haven't, uh, we haven't lit them all. This is the, uh, the waypoint I was talking about. Why we can't travel to it, I don't know. So, when we kill a Valkyrie, we'll come back, and then we'll see what this is about. Until then... I don't know. But rather than running all the way back, maybe we can fast travel back to Rock Shop or something? But we can't even fast travel to Brock Shop. Oh, no, we can't. I'll check. I'll check the consumables or what we can buy in Brock Shop. Well, Maybe there's like a travel thing. We know how to get around. A consumable that we need to travel. So but, what do you think, my mirror? I don't know. What does Baldur want with us? Well, let's look at what we know. Baldur is Odin's finest tracker, bar none. If he wants you, you have to consider the possibility that Odin wants you. And as for what Odin wants, on this I have some expertise. What could we have that Odin doesn't? He's like the king of gods. Of the Aesir, aye. But his reach is not unlimited. And where he cannot reach, he is preoccupied with going. He certainly tortured me enough about it over the years. Okay, Mimir thinks Baldur is tracking us for Odin. 
Uh, who wants to go wherever you cannot reach? But we can? There's the door. It seems, it just seems silly that we can't fast Let's travel there. Because we've unlocked them. I, I really don't know. Okay, resource. Soft Spartan Spartan. Resurrection Stone. Enchantments. No, there's nothing here. Make you something. Summon a raging maelstrom that prevents Kratos' attack from being interrupted, reduces the amount of all damage he takes, and inflicts normal and burn damage to all enemies. Sounds pretty good. But we've got the one that resets our stuff, which I really like. I see. Just wanted to stare into my eyes. That's it, man. That is it. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to uh the actual story mission. Finally. Frickin' seagulls! <laughs> They're impossible to kill. The world serpent's still just hanging out, right? All right, let's say we finish that story. Sort the brave and his sword of flame. Yeah, there he is. Fated to burn down Asgard, come Ragnarok. And from that destruction, the world can be born anew. Until then, alone he waits in Muspelheim, never sleeping, ever honing his fiery blade. Brave, generous. Who knows he lives but to his doom. All because he chooses to serve a grand cycle so much bigger than himself. To truly embrace your purpose and the patience and sacrifice it demands is to ensure your day will come. You think we'll be there when that day comes? What's the bet we go in here? Because it's something to do with the chisel, right? So the bet we go in here and we get some mad upgrade that would have helped us this whole time. And had we gone here first for like three minutes, we would have been had a much easier time. Okay, an ancient fire giant of Muselheim. He forged a sword of fire and fought, or will fight, Thor and Odin. Prophecy says, Sultir the Brave will die at Ragnarok, but take Asgard with him. Mimir uh, says it's part of a grand cycle of death and rebirth, and Sultir accepts his fate. I've seen enough of war between the gods. You, little brother, who can say? You want a beach here? Yep. Okay, let's get lightning arrows out. That's just to heal. Oh, another dude. Okay, sweet. You were taken from this realm too early. What up? You who walks among the living. My beloved Gulvig calls to me. She yearns for peace. Yet her remains lie in pieces. I beg of you, make my Gulvig whole again. I'll do it. You want us to collect her bones? Gross. Gulvig's sailor magic knows no bounds. She can reunite you with those you've lost. Really? Oh shit. How? Boy. I can smell your grief, child. Rest assured, her magic is strong enough to create bridges between life and death. If only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Yeah, that's uh... Hold the track favor. They've taken three of Sweet Gulvig's bones and spread them across the lake. Okay. Bring me her bones, child. Gulvig will reward you. Okay, well, we can go and do that quickly. I mean, it probably won't be that quick, but we could definitely go and do it. Um, that is going to hurt Atreus, though, because he's going to be like, oh, maybe I can get back to Mother and stuff. Which may not be ideal. Good. The special chisel is ahead past this gate. Ready yourself, boy. Oh, what is this? Oh, right.
Not even sure what that other enemy is. Oh, Dark Elves. Fuck yeah. Eat that shit. Okay, well that's it. Oh no, it's not. It's this dick. It's any fly. This realm suffers without Father, maybe we should look for those bones. Why? Didn't you hear him? We could talk to mom again. If we keep an eye out, look if you wish, boy. I will not be distracted by this fool's errand. Yeah, it's suspicious. Well, not suspicious, but it's, um... It's gonna make Atreus, like... Be all like, uh... We can get Mum back! Etc. Which is probably not ideal. But we're gonna do it! Because why not? Uh, it seems like it might be up here. Which means probably gonna have to go back to Fafnir's joint and fight those lightning dicks again. Perhaps. Although it says it's 12 meters ahead of us, so perhaps not. Okay, it's in here somewhere. Okay, it's oh it's that. Must be this. Okay, well we found a hand. These bones pulse with magic. It must be Golvi. Could we... Could we just hold on to it? Maybe we'll find the rest of them. Unless he's tricky. spirit lies to you, boy. Yeah. How would you know? I have known many spirits. They are all liars. I was about to say... This one is different. I know it. Unless you he's tricking us. Little. So... We summon, like... Himself or, or something back. And uh, then he, like, tries to kick our ass. Could happen. What happened to the city? I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before Jormungandr came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. This is where we found it, uh, fought an ancient, I think. Okay, found another hand. If all we Govie's find is bones. three what hands, that would be to, to Govi? Your mother. What have you left unsaid? I... I guess... I just want to know if she's okay. She is dead, boy. I know that! I... You don't understand. Neither do you. Okay, is it up there? No. In here. That was a pretty good Diddy Kong. He jumped from a long way away. <sighs> All right. Why would you make us climb all the way up? Just put it somewhere. Okay, it's a skull. Good. It's not a hand. The final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just... Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. Okay, well, he seems to understand. 
I guess. Maybe. I wonder why Goody's bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. Or well, keeping them separate so that we don't summon some, ma like, a massive beast isn't summoned or something. Or like a, a witch or, I don't know, whatever. For safety, rather than keeping them out of uh, Valhalla. We're about to find out. There we go. That took a while. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Gulvik. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, oh powerful Gulvik! Yeah, it's a trap, man. <laughs> She says she'll honor our request. Oh. Eldifagna. And reunite us? Yep. In okay. You are right. Oh, she's basically dead. You so. I told you so. You are naive, fools. <laughs> He's doing a Kratos voice. Yeah, she was shit, but that was clearly a trap. Okay, a spirit co uh, convinced me that Gulvig, a powerful witch that was killed a long time ago, could reunite us with Mother. Father didn't believe him. I shouldn't have either. But for, for a chance to see Mum again, it seemed like we should give it a try, right? So yeah, he was preying on Atreus' uh, weakness for his mum. Uh, once we collected all her bones, Gulvig was resurrected, and she said reunite us in death, and then attacked us. We killed her, obviously. I was really upset with myself. How could I fall for such an obvious lie? Uh, but Father said to take it, uh, take it as a lesson. So that's what I'm going to do. No what? more trusting spirits. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, Hack Silver. Okay, uh, 923. Whoa. Okay, maybe not. My dear Gulvig. So, thinking about it, if we look at that, right, uh, this is where we're meant to be for the story. And she was green, and we absolutely pummeled her. I think maybe all the enemies we're about to fight are going to be fairly easy. This chisel we seek. What is it? Because if she was easy, actually. and we're in the same just place. For you. <laughs> Maybe there was a giant once named Thamu, a very giant giant, who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamu hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son, but young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, bonk, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state, soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person who didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Hmm. 
Oh, I killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamma fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanier god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty ball bag just got lucky. <laughs> Okay. I'm ready if you are. I'm ready. Yeah, they're green, I'm man. I guess we can just uh like a chisel. The tip of one, yes. <laughs> a very, very giant chisel. I guess we can uh just enjoy some like casual Magically sealed, I'm afraid. Uh some casual just like gameplay where we just you know just get through the story, enjoy it a bit, don't be struggling too hard about stuff. Uh because yeah. That was pretty easy, and those enemies aren't easy. So, that big crystal on the giant's ring looks promising. It does, my friend. Alright, so lightning arrow that bitch. And now we can jump up, I guess. Star. That didn't seem to do anything. Maybe not. Melt the ice? No? No? Okay, we'll shoot it again. Wrong arrows. There we go. Oh, neat trick, lad. Thanks. Good idea. I thought, Cipher. Damn it! I thought we were um gonna melt the ice because it kind of looks fiery, right? And now it's dead. So good job. Hello. More. That's some not the best shadows. <laughs> uh, it's like the first time this game's look looked bad. All right, let's do it. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. <laughs> We still don't know what these do. This is locked up good. Atreus, to me. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, so this is the giant, right? Because they're like tattoos. Yep. Uh, nope. We've got a set, bitch. We don't want your stupid pauldrons. Well, I think we have a set. Okay, what do we got here? There he is. There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. That's pretty freaking cool, man. He's huge. Uh, let's have a look behind us as soon as we can. Hostiles up ahead. Because look, that's like an arm or, or something of his. Hostiles up ahead. What should we do? Uh, kill him, dude. What do you think we're going to do? Okay, he shot without me even wanting to. Man. Uh, 
912. I'm ready. Damn it. Oh, Okay. 912. No, an ice ancient from somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, you're gonna be super easy too. Yes. Okay. Did I miss? Somehow I missed. Come on. Kill the nightmare, dude. That seems like it's everybody. No. Nope. Okay. Nine hundred and twelve. That was a long one. No one here. Okay, fully healed. Uh, Frost, we don't need that. Don't need any of this shit. Like, that would have been... Probably would have been, like, fairly challenging. Um, but in reality, it was piss. Okay, we've got three runes. To seek out. We've got this. Hey, part of the world tree set. That's Andy. Oh, right. Okay, well I need to throw this at something. Over here. There we go. Okay, that's one of the rooms. Uh, okay, what? Oh, we did it. And there's another one. So. But that's already like that. Or it's in the wrong part. It's okay, so R, ah, I guess. Ah, good. And then the last one is like an E looking thing. Alright. I like crystal base. Where's the crystal? We'll find it. Don't you worry. First, we need to find an E somewhere. Um... Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay, let's make sure we don't progress before we get the E. Oh shit, we progressed. God damn it! We might be alright. Oh, look at the fire underneath, that's cool. How are we getting down there? We're gonna smash the ice. I have a plan. I could do. Do not act so surprised. Give me no control. Offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Okay. 
Give me control. Boy. Okay, good. Be it. Whoops, didn't need to use that. That is not it. Much easier when the enemies are a thousand times higher level. Okay, swing wildly, won't break his guard if father uses a block break. Okay, we already knew that, but we had absolutely no issues with him anyway. Oh man, following the story, who would have thunk it? We've basically made the game hard mode, but now we're like super over leveled, which is uh nice in a way, but also like you just feel too strong. So, you know, one of those chestnuts. Um, okay, we need to go back. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's not what that what that is. We need to go back and find this E. Uh, I'm tipping it something to do with the world sap. We haven't checked over here, really. The crystal, there it is. Okay, there's also this. There it is. Nice. Nope. One more. There she blows. <laughs> Dang. Mark of the Ranger. Increases damage of all axe throws. I mean, maybe one day. <laughs> We'll use them and it'll be useful, but probably not. I mean, we use axe throws to finish people off and to initiate and stuff, um, but not so much during battle. Atreus, here. Yes, father. Okay, so if we take this and we throw it up here, and then we shoot it, crystal comes down. That did it. Pick up the jiggity. Have a slight jog. That is freaking cool though, isn't it? That's a really 
really cold air. <laughs> okay, into the doodad. The bajiggity goes. Oh shit, it's a ghastly. It's a free ghastly. Dust of Realms. We needed one of them for something. Like, we were looking at crafting something here. It's like, no, you need the Dust of Realms to do it. And now we have the Dust of Realms. So, whatever that was, we can now upgrade. Okay, so let's go up and have a chat to Sindri, I guess. Uh, I think we've done everything else that was there. Okay, there's a raven there. I don't know if that's important. Wow, that was uh, something that the fight. <laughs> Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so it sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh, it doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> your brother wanted to know if you're getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. <laughs> well, come on then. Well played. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now shush. I need complete silence for this. And tap. <laughs> uh, it's so bad but so good thanks where shall we begin okay uh craft waist armor night no. upgrade chest armor night no. waist armor night no. what was it that needed a uh a thing We've gone down yes, dear boy. to like the bottom of level 5. Were we at the bottom of level 5? I don't know. Wrath of the Frost Ancient. Can we not upgrade this? Let's well, level 1. Why is this all of a sudden... Alright, oh, because we got these. How do we upgrade it? Uh, yes, yes, come in. You don't need to make excuses. Ah, oh, that's how! Eh, shit. Increase the amount of frost damage, frost damage as well as the length of the beam. Fuck, we could have been doing this a million years ago. <laughs> Greatly increases the amount of frost damage as well as the duration. Oh, this is the one, man. It's maxed. We did it. Look at that. Look at that. Sexy as shit. Uh, okay. Is there something that with a lot of stun we can use? Not really. This is alright. But the people don't stand in it for long enough. Although it does increase the size. Okay, nice. Okay, well, we got slightly upgraded on here. Which is good. A powerful but ice beam that slows all enemies on contact. And a lingering area of effect, effect that's fully upgraded now, which is awesome. Um, that's really good. That's really good. And we still can't upgrade any of this stuff because we're not even anywhere close. Alright. Oh. 
well, let's leave it here, right? We've done a lot. Uh, when we come back, we'll continue on here and try to get to the chisel. And... Yeah, I think we're in a good spot. I mean, everything here is a lot easier than what we've just been doing. And, uh, like I said, had we come here first and done everything and then gone to do what Plus, we were doing, maybe we'd be in a better spot. It? Knowing you, it doesn't involve standing around here. Correct. But how do we move forward? Okay, they're done talking. All right, let's leave it here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. If you like this video, click here to see another one just like it. If you're new to the channel and like what I'm doing, click here to subscribe and become the newest member of the Chicken Coop. If you really like what I'm doing, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description, where you can help support me and help the channel grow. You'll also find a link to the channel's Discord server where you can chat with me and other members of the Chicken Coop. And don't forget to hit that notification bell.